Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to identify the accounts in a transaction and how to determine whether an account has a debit or credit balance using the Pearls rule. The most important thing to remember is that a transaction will always have at least two accounts affected. Here's an example of a transaction. The transaction states that a business was started with $10,000 worth of cash on the 1st of January. Now you need to identify the keywords in the transaction and use them to derive the names of the accounts affected. The keywords in this case are started business with cash. Money or resources used to start a business are called capital. Therefore, the first account becomes the capital account. Remember that there has to be at least one other account, hence the cash account becomes the second one. Let's look into another example. In this transaction, goods were bought on credit from Nadia. The key words are goods bought on credit and Nadia. Goods bought on credit are called purchases and this makes the first account the purchases account. The second account becomes the Nadia account. Now we are going to determine the nature of each account, that is whether it's a debit or credit account. We are going to apply the Pearls rule. Accounts can be represented in T account formats as shown. Debit simply means the left side of a T account, and credit means the right side of the same account. It has nothing to do with the addition or subtraction of anything. Now here's how you apply the Pearls rule. Here's a list of the type of accounts that go on the debit side. We have purchases, expenses, and assets. And on the credit side, we have revenue or income, liabilities, and sales. Let us determine the nature of the capital account in this transaction. Here's something to think about. From the business's point of view, the business owes the owner their capital. Therefore, capital is a liability. Liabilities have credit balances according to the Pearl's rule. Hence, we credit the capital account. Determining the nature of the cash account is quite easy now. Here's a tip. One account, which is the capital account, is already a credit account. Therefore, there has to be a corresponding debit account, which in this case is the cash account. In case you still need to use the Pearls rule, you need to remember that cash is a non-current asset and it has a debit balance. That's it for today's tutorial. Please like and share the video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you have any questions or any specific topic you would want me to do a tutorial on, please leave a comment in the comment section below.